What's up, everybody? <laughs> Whoa! What's up, everybody? What's, Welcome to the Journals of Awakening. I'm your host, Ben. Everybody. Wait, wait, what, what would it be? And that's rainy. Uh, and the washing machine is what you I was trying to be funny, but I took a dab, so now I just... I'm lost. Um, <laughs> so... We were going to talk about something really stressful and controversial, but no, we said, nah! Yeah, so we're going to talk about <laughs> stress itself and stress. Stress itself. Here we go. So, when, say... Okay... Remember that one time you had to save your niece's life, right? Yes. I, how, how did you feel? Like, a, like, is that one of those you could lift a car up to save a child kind of things, you know? Like, is that how you yeah. felt? Yeah, like I felt, yeah, exactly. It was like I could have flown there. I don't even know if I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't remember getting to her. I just remember saving her. You know okay, I mean? so that was like... Or it your, was instinct. That's yes. what your adrenaline was, My okay? adrenaline took over, yes. So... Uh, adrenaline is caused by the adrenal glands. Okay. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, that when you, when something like that happens, it triggle, triggers. Triggles. <laughs> Your words <laughs> are so funny today. It's because I'm stoned. I'm it's trying to remember what I read, but my phone's plugged in and away. So. I'm still stuck on glands. All I can think Yeah, of. so adrenal glands. Adrenal, adrenaline. Okay. That's where the word comes from. Simon. So okay. it kicks your body into gear where your cortisol <laughs> levels release. And they release glucose, which is sugar that gets pumped to your heart or something like that. Sounds like all the stuff and the ingredients that I don't know. No, I know. So that's okay. what I'm telling you. Your glucose levels get pushed. Okay. okay. So... When that happens, you get that burst of energy that you can do anything. The Superman, your adrenaline. Right. Because Even of, if it's not humanly possible, you can. Yeah, because right. of the cortisol and sugar levels and going to your muscles. Okay? That's very cool. It's your fight or flight clicking in. Yeah. K- kicking in. So, Humans should be able to, should learn how to handle that without adrenaline. Now that's what i Evolution, I'm, my friend. No, adrenaline is good in short amounts. When you go for runs or you work out you get that that release that surge okay. you get the little bit of adrenaline and a little bit goes a long way it's good for your body it's good for your your energy you know well, that's your workout y- yeah <laughs> mental, mental workout so okay. so it you work out physically you work out mentally and that goes with other things so doing things adrenaline junkies yeah that short amount is good okay now say that you are uh so you get that one burst. Now say instead of a burst, you just get a flat level of it for a very long time. That's okay. too much of a good thing. Right, right, okay, right, right, so right. too much cortisol coming out is going to put you in fight or flight all the time. That can cause problems like anxiety Short fused. and sleep problems. Yeah, feeling like you always need to run. It also causes things like a Don't like I low, always low, seem a little short fused? <laughs> yeah, but it also causes things like low testosterone or sex drive and weight gain and all these different things. Tired, yeah. feeling sluggish. Mm-hmm. So, and it can just be triggered by little things. Obviously, us traumatized people, you more so than I, are always in fight or flight. And, oh, okay. you know, your adrenaline's always going. So instead of... Don't touch me. Yeah, instead of <laughs> taking a step back, you can't. Your adrenaline starts yeah. growing, and that's that. It's and instant. that, it can just cause so many problems, okay? And... Uh, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah. It's always on. Yeah. And it, it's triggered from childhood, obviously. Yeah. You saw a lot of things that triggered that cortisol, and now your cortisol levels are high. And Adult, adulthood I, was pretty weird too. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Childhood's that's always true. a weird one for everybody. <laughs> Babe, I just rolled over in my car, but I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it goes even deeper. Yeah, it's, but that's wow. what I mean. Yeah. You know, you. So now. That's a real have, scenario, ladies and gentlemen. Now you have agoraphobia. <laughs> yes. And it's weird because things at home don't ever trigger that. So then you. You know, you go to social media, and then so you're getting you YouTube likes and subscribes, and all of that is making <coughs> hormones to okay. where you feel good. But it's in a little dose, so it's good, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think that... Right, don't, don't love me too much. <laughs> I think that being, like, autistic would probably cause your life to feel like it's just always on the brink of something. Okay. You know, like a cliff, not necessarily in a good way. And I, you know, I don't know how you would balance it. So I try and do things so I, for myself. I read a lot. 
So, okay, so... I play guitar. You know what? It's sad, because I'm... That's true. But, I mean, you know, I, I'm really high, so I'm, like, connecting all these dots that might not exist. Right. My theory is that you had a lot of traumatic events at points of time, like events, okay? But my life was more like one big traumatic drive. I get it, yeah. So, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so... Mine was more like, bah, you watch somebody die. Yeah, exa exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. randomly. Yeah, but okay? random, yeah. Yeah, so uh, your parents probably argued a lot with each other, but it wasn't like mm -hmm. an always on the edge thing, <laughs> you know, like a weekly, on this day, at this time. So I think that because you're afraid to get out of the house because you're afraid one of those traumatic events will happen in an otherwise really calm life mm -hmm. you know and me i'm just like what everything's always been traumatic <laughs> oh because i know the trauma will come my way whether i get out of the house or not so i just stay away from any extra yeah <laughs> yeah and i'm just like i can handle it i can handle it come on mm -hmm. <laughs> i no people bring me drama or I literally just put a wall up. Yeah. Like instantly. I'm like, don't care. Yeah, except <laughs> except you do care. That's except I do. And I just don't want to talk about it and I don't want to go through the emotions with them and Yeah, so you, know you know like I mean? you, it, by thinking that you're cutting off what could be a painful event if someone leaves you, you're actually cutting off a painful what could have been, right? So yeah. you think of anybody that you cut off and you're like there's no bad huh. without good. There's no good without bad. It's yeah, just, not everything can be good. Ways, and then yeah. it like then it turns into bad. If you think everything toxic positivity, you know. How my friends are toxic. Oh! Exactly. And that's also that's a good point though. Mm -hmm. Everyone's toxic in their own way. You just choose the toxic you want to deal with. No, it's true. Yeah. I mean everybody has some sort of an agenda, right? Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean. Like There's, whatever it may be, taking care of your kids, good, making millions, it, whatever it yeah. is, you know. But every every relationship too, every friendship, yeah. everybody has red flags. You went in. You yeah, choose how many this. you want to deal with, you know. But we're, everybody's very different. You know what I don't like personally? My, My biggest. Mom. Oh, I pulled a mom joke. I'm just kidding. It was just too it painful was a joke. to laugh at. It uh, was too, uh, too, too soon. So we'll say, <laughs> like, friendship. I cannot stand people who tell me one thing to my face and do something else. Whether that's for their personal life or not. And the, the funny thing is, you, is you're one of those people, and now I'm just blaming Sagittarius Risings. <laughs> Yeah, what do people I People who really build up what they say or what they're going to do uh -huh. or who they are, and then they're, like, not that person. Uh, I wasn't thinking of I'm you. I'm famous. I told you I was famous. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's a joke. That's a joke. It's almost not, though, right? It's almost because, not. No, it's definitely a joke. No, no, no. I, I just... <laughs> I never claim to be famous. No, but you... <laughs> uh, I mean, always talk like you're going to get it, right? But when you go, like... My job is content creating. That's one of those things. I'm because a go-getter. Mm. Yeah, it's more like right now it's a hobby that's going to turn into like... I was actually just asked today what I did for a living. And you said content. And you know how much I hate that. Yeah. You know, and, you and I did not say content creator. Okay. I said stay-at-home father. Oh, so you were honest. I have you the best job honest. in the world, yeah. and I love doing it. I get to raise my own kids. I get to feed them what I want to feed them. Exactly. You know what I mean? But to people who you're afraid clean, are going to judge fix. you if you give them that answer. I have all the time in the world to take care of everything that I want done, and it gets done. It must you know be I mean? nice. It's nice, yeah. And you know the house is good, you know? Or maybe, but... Kids no, are you safe, see, And you it's know? not like... it's. And now that you're saying it, that's. I guess it's not what I mean. What I mean is like two-faced people. Like... Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just kidding. People that, like, look at you and they're like, uh, I'm an anarchist. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, holy night, you know? It's just like you don't know what being an anarchist means, you know? You put your a label on yourself that you felt felt right, except, like, technically it's not. <laughs> so people, okay, what about, like, the vid, right? So okay. say you, you're telling everyone to put their mask on and explaining the importance of it and everything but you don't you're like whatever you go hang out with people and go to parties and shit you know you're well, not literally talking about me no i'm not okay, talking I'm about like you at all i'm like so confused <laughs> i'm like Wait, i'm talking about this what? is my biggest pet peeve <laughs> okay like this this kind of friendship it just turned to turned to to a different like 